Listen to these words coming out from this trap rapper by the name of Lil Uzi Vert. And I do not listen to their musics. I do not support them. In fact, I will highly encourage anyone to stop buying their albums. Lil Uzi just made a statement. He guarantees you that you who have listened to his albums, his songs, you are going to hell. He knows where his fate lies, that he is going to hell. And he wants to take as many people down with him as possible. Listen to his own words coming directly from his own mouth so that there will be no excuses and you will not say that I made this up. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you this joke rapper by the name of Lil Uzi. Hold on, let me explain something real quick. Before everybody starts screaming and saying, oh, like I told y'all earlier, you mother enter the rapture and if ain't nobody flying enough to heaven right now obviously all y'all mother going to hell right with me so let's get it oh you already here i'm so sorry you can't get out you're stuck it's over you heard the song a million times and you didn't even know that's up but i still love you anyway no it's okay it's whatever you still love me you do that's why i love you because you don't judge me i love you Judging by the words that came directly from his own mouth, I do not think this needs further interpretation because he has simply interpreted what he was meaning to you. All he simply said was that he is going to hell and he is taking you down with him. If you are a fan of these rappers, you are going to follow them where ever they go which means if they are hell bound you are going to be hell bound his musics are filled with satanism doctrines of devils are all in his music i can't believe the stupidity in these people there's some people who are still chanting and he is simply calling his fans dumb and stupid he calls them stupid and dumb for not knowing that his musics have been leading them to hell all along. He said, you've been listening to my music a million times and you didn't even know it. That's effed up. It's like the musics which they sing, they know there's message in these musics. And it's so blatant, it's so clear, it's right in front of you. Yet, it's so sad that while people hear these musics and they can clearly distinct the message people are still rocking these musics. Many times he has even said that he was meant to be evil or that he was supposed to be evil. In an old interview, in an old video of his, he basically calls his fans dummies. Ask me, do I sell my soul? Is y'all on here if y'all think I sell my soul? Y'all coming right with me, you dummies. I was supposed to be evil. Basically, to get them to be his fans, he sold his soul. And he goes on to say that they are all going to hell with him. Now I want you to ask yourselves this question. Who in their right mind is going to want to follow these people? Now here's something interesting. Lucifer knows that he has lost the fight against heaven, against Jesus Christ. And he knows he is going to burn in hell. So what does Satan say? He wants to take as many people down to hell with him. Anyone who speaks like this is after Lucifer's own heart. Now after what I was shown, I don't believe that he chose that name Lil Uzi Vert just out of the blue. No, it was all carefully chosen. Here's the reason why. If we look at that name Lil Uzi Vert, what I'm going to do now is break down this name so that you can easily understand exactly what I'm about to tell you and I can promise you that you are going to be shocked. Let's take that full name Lil Uzi Vert. What does it sound like? Hmm. Doesn't sound like anything at the moment, correct? Yes. Let's take the first two alphabets and drop it. The L and the I, let's remove it. What do we get? Now we get L followed by Uzi Vert. Let's bring everything together. What does it sound like? It sounds now like Luzi Vert. 
What does Lucifer sound like? You still don't get it? Okay, let's remove the T out from the equation. What do we get now? It sounds like this. Lucifer. Lucifer. Now, if we look at Lucifer, what does it sound like? Oh, that's right. It sounds like Lucifer. Now, what are the three alphabets that we just dropped? We just dropped L-I-T. Well, let's bring the three alphabets which we dropped and let's combine them in the very sequential order by which they were removed. What do we get? L-I-T. What does L-I-T pronounce? Lit. Let's take this one step further. What comes to mind when you think of the word lit? That's right, light. Now if we go to look at the definition of light, here it is. Pay attention. To provide with light or lighting or to illuminate or illuminate. What comes to mind when you hear Lucifer and light? Oh, that's right. Lucifer is a name of Satan and that name, Lucifer, means the light bearer. The bearer of light. Which means Lil Uzi Vert is simply code name for Lucifer, the light bearer or the light of Lucifer. Now that you know this, you now know who people are listening to when people go to these concerts of this individual and many more celebrities. They are simply going to a worship service and they are being led to hell. The Bible says in Isaiah 55 verses 6 to 7, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous men his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. You see, it's not worth it. Fame is not worth your life. Fame is not worth your salvation. The Bible also says, For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? It is not worth it if at the end of the day you die and you lose your heavenly right to the kingdom of God. It is not worth it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm trying to keep this video short. Hopefully this gets through to someone. If you are a child of God and you believe in Jesus Christ and you accept him as Lord and Savior of your life, then give this video a thumbs up and share this information with as many people as you can. Because the truth is you never know who you are going to reach. However, on the other hand, if you do not believe in Jesus Christ or you despise Jesus Christ and you do not accept him as Lord and Savior of your life, then you can go ahead and give this video a thumbs down. I want to see how many children of God are there versus the children of the devil himself. The rules are simple. If you are a child of God, give this video a thumbs up. However, if you are a child of the devil, then give this video a thumbs down. And God knows who you are. It's a spiritual war. Let's see who wins. The Bible says, As long as I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow before me, and every tongue shall confess. All these joke rappers and Hollywood celebrities who have sold their lives for the sake of fortune and fame, which is temporarily, these will face the wrath of God one day. But before they do, they will all acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord and King to the glory of God the Father. They will all kneel down and worship Him. You know why? It's because at the end of the day, Jesus Christ is victorious. Thank you for tuning in and for joining me. This is The Controversy 7. You take care of yourselves, be safe, and I will see you guys next time.